Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to transform the equation of circle from standard form to general form. So, ang standard form ng ating circles, we have x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Kung saan? Yung H and K is yung center ng ating circle. And yung R naman is yung ating radius. Then for the general form, we have X square plus Y square plus DX plus EY plus F equals 0. Where D is equal to negative 2H. Yung E is equal to negative 2K. And F is equal to H square plus K square minus R square. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. So, write the equation of the circle in general form with center at negative 1, negative 6, and radius negative 5. So, may dalawa tayong method guys para makuha yung general form ng ating equation. Una is pwede nating magamit yung ating um, standard form para makuha yung general form ng ating circle. So, try muna natin yun. So, using the center of the circle which is negative 1, negative 6. So, alam naman natin yung h is equal to negative 1. And K natin is equal to negative 6. And yung R is equal to 5. So, by using the standard form, we have X minus H square plus Y minus K square equals R square. So, substitute natin yung H, K, and R. We have x minus h which is negative 1 plus y minus k which is negative 6 and r which is 5 then square so simplifying the equation we have x plus 1 so naging plus na yung ating uh, operation since we have two negatives Okay, plus y, then we have negative times negative 6, that is positive 6, square equals 5 square, which is 25. So, ito na yung ating standard form. So, this time, uh, gagamitin natin to para makuha yung ating general form. So, ang una nyong gagawin guys is we need to expand yung ating mga square of binomials. Okay? So, using the square of binomial, so, paano ba ang gagawin natin doon? Ang first step doon, square the first term. So, that is x square. Then, get the product ng ating first and last term. So, that is x times 1. That is x. Then, twice, we have 2x. Then, square the last term, we have positive 1. Next step natin is, square din natin yung ating y plus 6. So, square the first term, that is y square. Then, get the product ng ating first and last term, which is 6y. Then, twice, that is 12y. Then, square the last term, we have 36. Okay? Then, equals 25. Next is, we need to uh, rearrange yung ating equation. So, that is x square plus y square. So, of course, mauuna yung ating may mga highest, higher degree. Okay? Followed by 2x plus 12y. Then, ang ating nasa dulo is yung mga constant which is plus 1, 
plus 36. Then yung 25 sa ating sa right side is pwede na nating ilipat. We have negative 25 equals 0. Okay? Then combining like terms, so we have x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 12y. Then 1 plus 36, that is 37. Minus 25, we have 12 equals 0. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating general form ng ating equation ng circle. Okay? So, next, paano naman yung method 2 o yung second method na sinasabi ko kanina? So, ang method number 2 natin is gagamitin natin yung mga formula dito sa definition ng general form. Itong tatlo. Okay? So, we have D equals negative 2H, E equals negative 2K, and F is equal to H square plus K square minus R square. So, by using the center ng ating circle, yung H and K at saka R, makukuha natin yung value ni D, E, F. Okay? So, for D, which is negative 2H, so we have negative 2 times negative 1. Since ang value ng ating H is negative 1, dun sa given. So, ang D natin is equal to 2. Okay? Then, ang E naman natin, we have negative 2K, where K is equal to negative 6. Galing din siya dun sa ating given. So, that is positive 12. Then, for F, we have H square, that is negative 1 square, plus K square, which is negative 6 square, minus R square, which is yung 5 square. Okay? Then, solving for F, we have 1 plus 36 minus 25. Okay, so ang F natin dito is equal to 37 minus 25, that is 12. Okay, so after natin makuha si D, E, and F, pwede na natin magamit yung ating uh, formula ng general form. Okay, so ang D natin, siya yung ating coefficient ng X. Si E naman yung coefficient ni Y, then si F yung ating constant. Okay? So, ang final answer natin dito, we have uh, X square plus Y square, then plus DX, kung saan ang D natin is 2X plus EY. So, ang E natin is 12, then Y, then plus F. Yun yung ating constant, equal 0. Okay? So, as you can see, same lang yung nakuha natin doon sa ating first method. Okay? Dito sa ating second method. Nakuha ba guys? So, dito, uh, maaari kayong pumili kung ano ba sa tingin nyo yung mas madali. Okay? So, next, let's have another example. Number 2, find the general form, form of the circle x plus 5. So, may nakalimutan tayo dito. x plus 5 square plus y minus 3 square equals 36. Okay? So, again, uh, may dalawa tayong method kung paano ba makukuha yung general form nito. So, gawin na lang natin yung dalawa. So, ang method 1 natin is i-expand natin yung binomials ng ating standard form. Okay? So, try natin. 
So, square the first term. That is x square. Then, get the product ng ating first and last term. So, that is 5x. Then, twice, we have 10x. Then, square the last term, we have 5 square, which is 25. Okay? So, next is square natin yung y minus 3. So, square the first term. So, we, that is y square. Next is get the product ng ating first and last term. That is negative 3y. Then, twice or times 2. That is negative 6y. Then, square the last term. That is positive 9. Then, equals 36. Okay? So, after natin ma-expand yung mga binomial natin, is i -re arrange natin yung equation. So, una, yung may mga square muna. So, that is x square plus y squared. Followed by yung ating x and y, which is 10x minus 6y. Then, nasa dulo yung mga constant. Okay? So, 25 plus 9 that is 34. Then, pwede na natin ilipat yung 36 dito sa left side. That is negative 36. Equals 0. Okay? So, ang final answer natin dito, we have x square plus y square plus 10x minus 6y. Then, 34 minus 36, we have negative 2 equals 0. So, ito na ngayon yung general form ng ating uh, circle. Okay? So, next, uh, what if ang ginamit mo is yung ating method number 2? Okay? Kung saan gagamitin niyo yung uh, circle, uh, center ng ating circle and yung radius. So, dito guys, ang ating uh, H is equal to negative 5. Okay? Then, ang k naman natin dito is equal to positive 3. Then, ang r naman natin dito is equal to 6. So, paano ba natin nakuha yung 6? So, since alam naman natin yung 36 dito is equivalent to r square. So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-square square root lang natin yan. So, we have r equal 6. Okay? So, pwede na natin gamitin yung mga formula natin. D is equal to negative 2h. So, that is negative 2 times negative 5. We have positive 10. Okay? Then, for uh, e, we have negative 2k. So, that is negative 2 times 3. That is negative 6. Then, for F, uh, we have H square plus K square minus R square. So, ang H natin dito, we have negative 5 square plus K, which is 3 square minus R square. And that is 6 square. So, negative 5 square, that is 25 plus 9 minus 36. Okay? So, 25 plus 9, that is 34 minus 36, we have negative 2. Okay? So, after natin makuha yung D, E, and F, pwede na natin magamit yung ating formula ng general form which is x square plus y square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Okay? So, final answer natin, we have x square plus y square plus d, which is 10. Then, ang in naman natin is negative 6. So, we have negative 6y plus f, which is negative 2 equal 0 Okay 
So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them on the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!